everyone, welcome back to Preface Nomad Junior. I'm teacher Athena, and today you're going to learn how to upload sprites and backdrops in Scratch projects. So today you're going to make a shooter game. In this game, there are two sprites. One of the sprites is an aim target, which will follow your mouse cursor and move. And the second sprite will be an enemy, in this game, you have to use your mouse cursor and to touch the enemy. If you touch it successfully, you will gain a point. You may be aware that you cannot find these two sprites in the library. So where do they come from? In this video, you are going to learn how to upload sprites and edit sprites in Scratch. So today we're going to learn how to upload a photo from internet into our Scratch project and also learning how to edit our photos. First of all, let's delete the cat sprite and then choose a backdrop in the library. This time we're going to choose Space City 1. Okay, so now we have to upload our sprite into our projects. How can we do it? So let's go online and then search for your characters and download the photos. This time I would like to have anime cartoons in my projects. And you will find a lot of photos here. Choose the one that you like and then download it into your computer. So you can right, right click and save image. And you can rename your photo and save it. Okay. So now, you can go back to your Scratch and we can upload the sprite over here and choose your photo. You will see that there's a large blue color background on this character and we do not want it. So how can we get rid of it? We can go to costumes. Inside, there is a toolbar here. And you can find an eraser here and you can simply erase the blue color background of your characters so that we can no longer see the blue color background. There's a second method to do it. If you're using a MacBook, you can open your photos with preview. Inside there is a markup box and you can find a magic wand over here. When you press the magic wand, you can simply drag your mouse cursor and then press delete. Part of your blue color background is gone. So you can continue to make it until all of the backgrounds are gone. Okay. So now we can go to scratch and then upload your sprite here. Now you can see that there is no blue color background behind your character right now. Okay, so now we have to upload our second sprite, which is a aim. So now we are going to do our second sprite. This time we are going to search it online and I'm going to introduce you a website called Flat Icon. Inside this website, there are a lot of different photos, which is in PNG. A PNG photos usually have a transparent background. So let's have a look. We're going to search for aim. You can find a lot of choices here. Choose the one that you like. And I will choose this one. When you go inside, you will see a button called PNG. So you press this button and choose free download. Okay, so once the photo is downloaded into your computer, Let's go back to Scratch. This time we're going to upload this photo. So choose Upload Sprite and find a photo in your computer and open it. If you find this photo is too large, you can go to Size and then change its size. Let's try 20. Okay, this looks good. What if the website doesn't have the characters that you like? Where can you download the PNG photos? No worries, you can go online and search for your photos. You can type the characters that you want and then add PNG at the end. And you will find a lot of different photos here. 
you can click inside and have a look. If the photos appear like this, which has gray and black color background, this means this photo has a transparent background when it uploads to Scratch. If the photo appears like this with a white color background, or a white color and gray color background like this, it means that this photo does not have a transparent background. So if you really upload it into Scratch, you may need to use the eraser function or go to the preview and delete the background for this sprite. So let's do a little recap of what we have learned today. First, we learned about how to upload a photo from internet into your Scratch project. And second, we have learned about how to edit our photos. There are two ways to edit it. First, we can use the magic wand in the preview and delete the background of the picture. Or we can use the eraser in the Scratch to erase the background. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the project. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get our daily content. I'm Teacher Athena and this is Preface Nomad Jr.